Hey everyone, I'm here at WoW and this is the Homecast Rewind, your guide to what's new and notable in PlayStation Home. And Dreams, the developers behind Zai and the Zai Museum, have released a new public and personal space combo that is unlike anything seen before in Home. Set on a series of airborne islands connected by portals, Aurora is at once a place to learn about End Dream's history in home, a place to socialize, and a place to play. Spend some time exploring and you'll come across hidden messages, portals to other home spaces, and imaginative features like the ever-changing floor in the lounge area. But the main attraction is the game. Orb Runner gives you a set amount of time to gather as many orbs as you can, which you'll exchange for experience points at the end of the game. It's completely free to play, but if you like the game, you may want to buy the Gold or Neon Orb Runner Upgrade Packs, which give you more time to play, more high-value orbs to collect, and access to three teleporters that will take you to floating islands covered with orbs. Getting on the leaderboard is largely a matter of luck, because the orbs appear randomly each time you play. Keep an eye on those orbs, too. Kinetic orbs will move away from you, making them harder to catch, while the Freeze and Vengeance orbs that cost you time will be drawn to you like a magnet. If you love the feel of Aurora or just want to level up faster, pick up the Aurora Island Personal Space, which offers two levels to decorate and the Aurora Island Defense Game. Here you'll find yourself taking a stand against swarms of enemies. The action gets very fast very quickly, but it is possible to get scores over 2,000 points without buying the accessories. First, go easy on that trigger. Shooting constantly makes the cannons overheat and you'll need to wait a few seconds for them to cool before you can use them again. Second, know what to hit. These small helicopters and the larger circling ships do the most damage. Make sure you take them out whenever you see them, then focus on the other targets. Flying saucers are worth 100 points each, so it's worth going after them. As you level up, you'll earn rewards, including a teleporter that will take you to Aurora from any personal space, t-shirts, and the very unique boat avatar. End Dreams has promised that this space will evolve and change over time, offering new challenges and rewards for players. If you've got patience, you can unlock them without spending anything. Level 25 awards a pair of silver goggles, which expands the Orb Runner game. If you own Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers, you'll find more than just t-shirts waiting in the Magic public space. Five impressive statues for your personal space can be unlocked. You'll get the Sarah Angel for earning the Life Preserver Trophy, the Sphinx for beating Challenge Mode, the Hydra for winning your first co-op campaign match, the Dragon for beating co-op campaign, and the Grinning Demon for getting the Duels Master Trophy. Once you've unlocked those achievements, just go to the Magic Public Space to claim your rewards. Heavy Water is back with a new collection of Heavy Peeps companions and pets. The pets are a must-have because when you activate them, you become them, giving you a chance to explore your personal spaces in entirely new ways. You can buy the pets and companions separately or in bundles that contain both the pet and the companion. There are also bundles that contain several Heavy Peeps. So what's the difference between a companion and a pet? Pets can only be used in personal spaces and you can interact with them by using emotes from the R1 menu. Companions can be used anywhere. They're not interactive, but they have preset animations that make them come to life. The one exception to the rule is the Bit Companion from Tron, which only works in personal spaces and isn't interactive. It's the Bit something else entirely. The Blue Toad Murder Files collection has grown, and home photographers should check out the Surfboard Backdrop, which offers a fun setting for your next photo shoot. Music fans should check out the Grand Piano, which can't be played, but looks darned impressive in any personal space, kind of like the real ones that nobody plays. Disco will never die, despite our best attempts to kill it. You might as well submit to Disco's Immortal Dominance with the Funkster 74 collection for men and women from End Dreams. Look for the limited time purple suit bundle, which includes a psychedelic cane. There's also a collection of shag carpets and a 70s furniture bundle available. These match up very nicely with the new Bayonne furniture collection from Lockwood, leaving you one avocado colored refrigerator away from having the ultimate 70s pad. Finally this week, Lockwood has a new collection of anime-style mech suits available in three colors for $1.99. These suits include two custom animations, a get-ready pose, and the hilarious backflip, which starts the party wherever it goes. That's all for now. Remember that you can stay up to date on the latest home news by visiting the PlayStation blog and the forums at community.us.playstation.com. And be sure to visit GamerInDepth.com for blogs and podcasts about the PlayStation 3. Until next time, this is Here at WoW, see you in PlayStation Home!